Okay, so now um, we're doing question seven, and we are given this uh, equation here of g of x is equals to one minus four x squared. And we are asked to determine the derivative using first principles. So the first thing you need to do here before you even determine um, the derivative using first principles, you need to determine the derivative so that you know which answer you're looking for. So the derivative of 1 is 0 minus, uh, we drop the 2, 4 multiplied by uh, x to the power 2 minus 1, then you have minus 8. X. So you know that um, the derivative you're looking for in first principle is minus 8x. So let's find the, um, the derivative of this problem here using first principles. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we write our g of x, which is equals to 1 minus 4x squared. And first principles is written as f prime of x limit when h approaches 0, f into x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Then um, the limit when h approaches 0, so instead of writing f x plus h, so you're going to substitute it in uh, your g of x. So going to be g x plus h, which is equals to 1 minus 4 into x plus h all squared. Then it's going to be 1 minus 4 into x plus h squared minus, so this, instead of writing f of x, going to be g of x. So it's your g of x, it's this one here, 1 minus 4 x squared divided by h. So your limit when h approaches 0, so um, let's find this portion here, x plus h all squared. So x plus h all squared is equal to x plus h, x plus h. Then we multiply through using FOIL method, it's going to be x squared, this and that, then plus hx, this and that, plus hx plus h squared. So giving you, giving you x to the power 2 plus, so let me write it proper. So it's going to give us um, x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. So you're going to write that here. So it's going to be 1 minus 4 into, you write x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus into 1 minus 4x squared divided by h. Then uh, your limit as h approaches 0. So the 4 will multiply everything that is inside here. So it's going to be 1 minus 4x squared minus 8hx, which this multiplied by that. And then, so this is x. And then minus... 4h squared. Then this minus will multiply the 1. It's going to be minus 1. Minus multiply the minus 4x squared. It's plus 4x squared. Divide by h. So the limit when h approaches 0. So um, the 1 will go away with this one. The 4x squared go away with that one. So we'll remain with minus 8 hx minus 4h squared divided by h, which is equals to the limit when h approaches 0. So we're going to factorize the h. This h here, we're going to factorize it so that we cancel out with this one. So we're going to say h outside minus 8x minus 4h divided by h. Then uh, the h cancels out. Then we are left with the limit when h approaches 0 is equal to minus 8x minus 4h. So where does h will substitute this 0 here? So we're going to have uh, minus 8x minus 4 into 0, giving us minus 8x. So this would be our answer for f 
prime of x using first principles. So um, we are done with 7.1.1. Now we're looking at 7.1.2. So it says, hence calculate the gradient of the tangent of f at x is equal to 2. So um, we know that uh, g of x um, is was 1 minus 4x squared, right? And when they say the tangent of f, you basically, I'm assuming, they are now making the c of x as f of x. Since the derivative of f of x was minus 8x. So please don't be confused by that. Um, so, um, okay, let's say this g of x is f of x. It's 1 minus 4x squared. And we found the derivative using first principle as minus 8x. So to find uh, the gradient of the tangent, uh, which is this one here, we going to substitute the x here. So we know that x is given as 2. So the gradient of x equals to 2 is equals to minus 8 into 2, which is equals to minus 16. So that is the gradient of the tangent. Then we go to uh, 7.3, oh sorry, 7.2. Um, we determine the derivative of this problem here. So this problem here, um, we have f of x is equal to the cube root of x squared plus 1 over 4x to the power 4. So the first step you need to do here, you need to write it properly in a way that you'll be able to factorize. I mean, you'll be able to derive. So you're going to say x squared to the power 1 over 3 plus you take everything at the bottom you to the top so it's going to be 1 minus so you the 4 remains then you have multiplied by x to the power minus 4 and then um, equals 2 so you have the 1 over 3 multiplying the 2 which is x to the power of 2 over 3 plus x to the power of minus 4 over 4 so that is the sum. Uh, let's write it uh, here. So. so we are having um, x squared over 2 plus x to the power minus 4 over 4. So this is our f of x, right? So to derive this, we will, okay, this is 3. We're going to drop the power here to the bottom and subtract with 1. Same thing here, we drop the power here and subtract with 1. So we're going to say 2 over 3 multiplied by x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1 plus minus 4 multiplied by 1 over 4x to the power of minus 4 minus 1. Then we'll have 2 over 3x to the power x to the power of minus 1 over 3 minus 4 times 1 over 4 x to the power minus 5 and then um, we will have 2 over 3 x to the power of minus 1 over 3 minus x to the power of minus 5. Then we write it properly as 2 over 3 x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 over x to the power of 5. So you can leave it like this if you want. 7.3 we are given um, h of x being equals to ax squared and we are told that x is greater than zero so we are asked to determine the value of a if we are given h 
to the power of minus 1 into 8 is equal to h um, derivative of 4. So um, what you need to note is that this is the inverse of h. This is the derivative of h. So we need to do that. We need to find the inverse and find the derivative and substitute these values that we are given here. So that's what you're going to do here aside. We know that we have h of x being equals to ax squared and we are given that h of the inverse of h substituting h is equal to the derivative of h substituting 4. So let's find the, the inverse first. So the inverse of h. So what you're going to do is we have h of x is equal to ax squared. Um, let's write it as y is equal to ax squared. So the inverse, you swap x becomes y and y becomes x. So you're going to say x equals to ay squared. Divide with the a. We have y squared is equal to x over a. Put the squared root. Your y is equal to the root of a. Oh, sorry. And your y is equal to the root of x over a. So um, remember that uh, h of the inverse, we're substituting 8, where there's x. So meaning, therefore, your y is equal to the root of 8 over a. So let's say this is equation 1, because remember, we want to find the value of a. So now we're going to focus on the derivative of h. So to find the derivative, we have h of x being equal to ax squared. Derivative of h is equal to 2ax. And what's inside the derivative, we are given 4. So it's going to be 4. So it's going to be 2a into 4. And then the derivative 4 is equal to 8 a. So this is equation number two, and we are told that h of 8 is equal to the derivative of 4. So you're just going to write the equation as they are. So this one here, you're going to write it as the root of 8 over a being equal to what we got here as 8a. Remember, we're trying to find a, so we're going to square both sides. To remove the square root and then we'll remain it 8 over a is equal to um, 8 squared so this squared will multiply any power that it finds here so it's going to be 8 squared a squared having 8 over a is equal to 64 a squared and then um, so, uh, to complete this on a new page we have 8 over a it equals to 64 a squared then you cross multiply you're going to have 8 is equal to 64 a cubed then you divide by 64 both sides you have a cubed is equals to 8 over 64 then you multiply by 1 over 3 multiply by 1 over 3 so your a value you're going to find to be 1 over 2. So this is the answer of a.
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.